Denver's the champs, right? They they won it all, I believe. It was a great story, the dynamic duo. But then there are other stories, teams that didn't win, and this guy, okay? Zion Williamson, off season drama. Well, spurring trade rumors. What drama? Don't act like you haven't been on TMZ and some other sites. But I'll tell you, Zion Williamson's time in New Orleans could be cut short. Mid the fallout from the drama in his personal life. Teams around the NBA are keeping a close eye on whether the Pelicans would make Williamson available ahead of the 2023 NBA draft next week in an attempt to move up from the number 14 spot. That according to ESPN's Brian Windhorse. So what exactly is it that's so bad he's gotta get out of New Orleans? Mardi Gras home. Dalt film star Mariah Mills alleged Williamson had sexual relations with her a week before announcing he's expecting a baby with his apparent girlfriend, Akima, social media influencer. Apparently she's got, must have a lot of followers, just one name, just one name. Well, Ravana, but I mean, there's so many layers to you. There could be layers to her, I'll give you the rest. According to Mills, Williamson and Akima only met in February, but Mills and Williamson had been involved with each other for three years. She said he originally contacted her because she was his fantasy girl and offered to take care of her and give her gifts. Mills stated that she signed an NDA. Non disclosure agreement for Williamson, which is common practice for NBA players with romantic partners on the road, but did so with a fake name. Isn't that clever? She claimed that their relationship started off as a sneaky link, but we fell in love. I want to pause for a minute, Ray, because legally she signs the NDA. She's now admitted publicly she signed it, but she signed it with a fake name. Is it enforceable? Um, I most likely not. I mean, there's probably a verbal contract there that they agreed upon. And I mean, in that case, you could maybe, maybe argue that in court. But at this point, is he really, it's out there. Mm. It's already out there. So now you're just going to drag this woman through the court system while you're, it's not going to be a good PR look for him to do not it. smart. Okay. Oh, I like that. If only he took good advice. He seems like somebody probably doesn't take good advice. Mills also claims that Zion used a trap phone to record 100 plus videos of them having sex. That she learned he had shown these videos to other women in his life. In one screenshot, Zion asks if he can record their time together and inquires about the cost of bringing her to Portland for two days. As Mills tells that Zion was jealous, protective of her during their relationship. In fact, she claims. That he spied on her and tried to set her up to see if she would cheat on him. Here's a response from the baller. Zion Williamson has not addressed Mariah M's allegations. During a charitable fundraising event for the Summer Bridge program, Anderson Lee, Zion's stepfather, was asked about the situation. He told the public to believe nothing of what you hear about his stepson. Jamoran, another NBA star who's been plagued with off court troubles has been suspended 25 games without pay after he was seen holding what appeared to be a firearm in a social media live stream. Morant was previously suspended after he brandished a firearm in a separate live stream at a strip club. There's a lot going on here and I'll be honest with you, I don't even know if I got it, but I think it's Interesting, the layers here. I've seen people joking online that why is she worried about him recording hundreds of videos when she's an adult film star? I reject that. She could decide when and where and how she wants to make her money. But I do think that this whole situation is um, kind of telegraphs where we are in society. With power, relationships, sex, the whole bit, and the trading of a, a player because of all of it. Can you frame some of this? Really take it out of my stream of consciousness, Ravada. <laughs> um, I'll say I think that it's, I think you're absolutely right that uh, Mariah Mills has the autonomy of her body and she has the right to consent. 
what videos of her people see and what they don't see. So she has she has the right for, you know, for money to make porn that can be seen by, you know, whoever has access to it and at the same time cuz she's consented to that. She didn't consent to uh, him sharing the videos of them having sex privately. So she's well within her right to call him out for that. I will say the timing of her coming out with this, it doesn't necessarily seem like she's trying to raise awareness of how she was mistreated, but more like she's just trying to get under the skin of his baby mama, which I think is, you know, a little less <laughs> noble than, mm-hmm. you know, but I, I mean, read her videos are picking up steam too. Right. No pun, but I, people are searching for her. She's becoming, you know, even more famous, I guess. But yeah, mm-hmm. you go ahead. Yeah, I'll just say, of course, he should, you know, have more discretion with how he conducts himself because the way that you act in private absolutely does have a tendency to come and and have a play in the way that you your professional life. I mean, and not just if you're a professional basketball player. Of course, if you have a high profile like that, it's more likely to come and and uh, you know and impact your professional life. But just anyone in any career, your you know uh, outside work behavior is unbecoming of someone they think is representing their brand. In most industries, that's more than grounds to to terminate you. So you know, I think he's young. He's he's you know come into a lot of money very quickly, um, and maybe he just needs to learn how to how to you know conduct himself better. And I you know mm-hmm. if they if the you know the team doesn't think that this is someone who we want representing our brand, then they can let him go. I think I think it's not it's not like serious allegations of of well, sexual you know impropriety. I mean, showing the videos of her is absolutely a violation yeah. of her consent. But you know it's 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 not like you know. I've seen teams protect their players who have been accused of of you know rape. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I mean, if they want to let him go, they can let him go and make a lot of money doing it, but mm-hmm. I guess that's their decision. And I don't know what his relationship with his stepfather has been throughout his life. I don't know that much about his story. Perhaps I should have looked into it, but here's here's my thought on the stepfather's comment. I believe nothing about what you hear about my son. Marketing value is one thing, okay? And you're absolutely right. I tend to believe these allegations, I guess we'll call them. He's he's sleeping with probably a couple women. And it's not very nice treating people this way. Let's just boil it down to that. For the stepfather to step up, I guess there's a something bold and profound about being protective of your offspring, stepson. But I would like to to think that there was a private conversation here that you're you're hurting people and you're hurting yourself, regardless of whether it's going to cost you money or get you traded out of. Maybe he wants to be traded out of New Orleans. I don't know. But why why are you doing this? I'd like to see that he would examine that. And maybe I'm too pie in the sky, but I think he his behavior deserves some insight on a couch with a professional in front of him. That's just my thought.